Hello and welcome to the 8th episode of my Genoa playthrough. Now, I'll let it get started. We are at war with Tunisia at the moment, and it is the Gen uh, Genoese conquest of Sardinia. We are losing, but only because they are blockading our capital and, well, our other province, Corsica. So, uh, we are miles ahead in terms of military military forces and we are going to I think now attack them across this strait we can't of course because their ship is there okay now oh ooh, alone is coming due shit alone is coming due okay we have um oh god that's for two years yeah okay that's for two years we're not gonna spend any money for the next two years alright remind me of that we can invest in technology diplomatic I would say yeah why not? Why not? Why not? We get access to a dock, access to a marketplace, access to a plus 100 trade range, which is always useful. So we'll do that. We need, well we don't need, but it would be nice to get our national ideas up and running. Because we're actually doing quite well in terms of monarch points. We're getting plus 7 military per month, plus 9 diplomatic power per month, and plus 8 administrative power per month. And these are actually really good. Especially for such a small nation with um, limited access to, uh, well, just about everything, really. Uh, we lost, well, I mean, we won that battle, but we lost a hell of a lot of people. We are now on positive war score, which is always nice. They are going to try and take over Sardinia. They are going to fail miserably, hopefully, because I'm going to try and take them over. Well, not take them over, but absolutely destroy them as soon as they get there. Well, ah, oh, okay, okay. So, oh, oh no, okay, shit. Um, <laughs> oh, it's all, it's all gone back to bad. They now have another army coming over. It is a, ugh, I can't actually see, but it's a four thousand man army, which uh, they're going to try and liberate Sardinia, which isn't ideal for us. Everything is balanced on a knife edge when you're playing this Genoa. That I can say for sure. We have a revolt could be happening. Yeah, it's not great. Reduce war exhaustion. I think I'm going to take that, actually. Because war exhaustion actually has quite a large impact on um, a, a huge amount of things, really. Stability boost. Um, yes, please. Maybe get our national tax a bit higher. Ah, election. Pause, pause, pause. The term is up for Donato Negroni. With enough support, he can stay in office, but then he must defeat his three primary competitors. We could keep this guy and go down to 73 Republican tradition, which isn't great. Or we could elect a new guy. Now I did say that this time we're going to elect a new guy, so we shall. And we really want to focus on, I'd say, military power. Because we're such, an, such a tiny nation, any sort, of, well, any sort of gains, any sort of technological advancements on other countries are hugely important. So we will choose a military candidate. Giorgio Grimaldi di Busca will now rule our glorious nation. He has a 114, but every term of election, that will go up, really. I think, in fact, we're going to change again next election for the next term because we'll let our Republican tradition, Republican tradition um, sort of go back to 100 because uh, it's, it's such a huge, uh, such, adds such a huge amount onto the cost of Improving stability, that it's not just it's not worth it to me anyway. Whether you agree or not, I'm the one playing Genoa, and I'm the one failing miserably. Okay, these guys are going to be reinforcing, not quickly but uh, steadily. I'm not too worried about them. We have been informed that that's fine. I don't care. You can start a war with me if you like Provence. Try it. Although you are allied with a papal state, so I'm not quite sure how that would turn out. I. How many diplomatic relations have I got? I've got four diplomatic relations. Uh, Ferrara, just military access. So I think maybe I can cancel that now. They they have no real opinion on me. Um, I can't do a royal marriage. Nope. Okay, we're going to cut off all ties with Ferrara. So we now have, let's look back, three diplomatic relations. France, oh, who are hugely powerful. Mantua and Tuscany. Oh, we need to offer an alliance to France but we can't of course we can't what was the what was the uh, main reason neutral attitude towards Genoa and our, our army and navy navy strength so when we built up some sort of mm, some sort of capital for our country maybe 
50, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe 50 gold. Then we'll sort of, I don't know, we'll get the, the military wheels rolling again. I don't think I can do anything to increase their opinion on me, apart from send a gift, which, I don't know, I'm... Well, actually, I don't think I have enough money to do that. No, I don't have enough money to do that. There's no point. I don't think it's worth it. I could declare war on them, alternatively. No, no, that's not going to happen. View my country. So we do have space for one more diplomatic relation. Now, who to have? Milan would seem like a good bet, but they are hostile with us, it seems, so we can't, because they have that. That's, that, that, that becomes the hostility that they feel towards us, then becomes a minus 100 modifier on their opinion of us, so it's not really worth it. They are quite a large nation with actually quite a substantial army, but we're just going to have to look past that. Naples absolutely hate us because we did... Oh, sorry. Oh, Dad. Well, how unprofessional was that? Um, my, my dad came in, so I <laughs> had to talk to him. Uh, back to ruling the world, or our small part of the world at least. Yeah, so Naples absolutely hate us. They resent us with everything that they have. I could form a coalition against them. Not probably worth it. I'm going to do that. Mantua and Tuscany are actually... I'm quite happy that I've got them as allies. They are only small, so I don't think they're going to expand anytime soon. Or we hope they're not going to expand anytime soon anyway. So they're quite worthwhile to have as friends. Um, Venice? I think Venice would... I mean, they're cordial, so they will seek to uphold good relations and may offer us an alliance. Now, I think... Hmm, I think we offer them an alliance, or try and sort of get them to like us enough. So we're going to improve relations with Venice and then we're going to offer them an alliance. It will come at some point, not quite sure when, but ah! The Guelph Ghibelline Fund. The division between the Pope and the Emperor had started in the late 11th century and technically ended in 1122, but the division between Guelphs and Ghibellines persisted in Italy for centuries afterwards, being a constant factor in dividing the city-states internally and keeping Italy weak. The Guelphs were the supporters of the Pope, while the Ghibellini supported the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, I assume. In the 15th century, the Guelphs had switched allegiance to the French instead, so as they started to take an interest in Italy. So, I have three options. I can side with the Guelph, and I can gain one Republican tradition, which isn't... I don't really care too much about that side of things, but the opinion I do care about. So, France will like me, and Bohemia will start to dislike me if I choose this one. Alternatively, if I favour the Ghibellini, Bohemia will like me and France will start to dislike me. Or I could let them argue and lose to Republican tradition. Now, uh, the bottom one is out of the question and I think to improve France's relation on me by 20 would be very worthwhile for us. So we're going to side with the Guelph and hope it all turns out alright. Uh, discovered an agent again. Again, I don't care. Declare war on me if you want. I have my huge allies, Tuscany and Mantua, to call upon. Uh, can I offer an allies to France yet? No, no I can't. We only have minus nine modifier now though, so... I could... Re mm. There are many things that I could do. I think I'll re improve relations with France, just to keep them um, as tip-top as they can, really. <laughs> it would be great if someone declared war on us and we could call France in. We are winning this war? Okay, that's... Hmm. I think what we're going to do, I think we're going to let them liberate Sardinia. I say let them. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm absolutely terrified of their 10 stack, so I'm going to leave them to do whatever the hell they want. And then as soon as they've shipped out, we'll move into Sardinia, siege it again. Maybe, maybe leave some army in Corsica, so if they try and land, then they, they have the, um, the minus... A, a negative modifier on their dice rolls and things in a battle anyway and then we have a, a, a greater chance of actually being able to do something against them. Now I would like to do something about this fleet and they have three light ships and four galleys. We on the other hand have two galleys and one light ship so it's not great. I think... I'm not sure how much these things cost. Well a galley costs ten. So, I just need money, really. I say I'm a trade nation. I haven't got any money coming in, really. Unhappiness amongst the merchants. Da, da, da. I could lose 50, 50 diplomatic power, or I could lose 5 mercantilism. Now, if anyone... I'm just going to have a look. If anyone can tell me what the hell mercantilism is, 
I have had a look on the internet, but I can't get my head around it at all. So if anyone could tell me what the hell mercantilism is, that would be greatly appreciated. I assume it's something to do with merchants, mercantilism. And obviously this event is to do with merchants, but I cannot for the life of me find out what the hell it means. Okay, I'll um lose diplomatic power, I think, because survive mercantilism sounds like... Mercantilism? Mercantilism? Yeah, mercantilism. It sounds like quite a large amount. We'll lose diplomatic power anyway, um, so please, please do leave a comment telling me what the hell that is. We have lost the siege of Sardinia, okay, not great, but not too much of a, a bad thing either. Now you guys, can you come and pick up these guys please? That'd be appreciated. Mm, now the war score is going to go down, well, uh, against us. We're going to lose a war score the longer that they hold Sardinia. So, there's not much I can do really because I haven't got any money. Now this is, oh I can increase how much the missionaries are getting paid or I can reduce it. Uh, we will have them on a third wages. They don't deserve anything more or anything less. Now it is always hard to get the ball rolling with a small nation but it will be done and I, I don't see in the immediate future me getting absolutely steam rolled. I, mm, I I can't I can't imagine who'd attack us because we're just such lovely people. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Maybe. How much is our army upkeep? Okay, so our army our army upkeep is nothing. There is really nothing that we can actually take down. Do we have any trade fleets? I do have trade fleets, yes. It seems, but I think I need to... Ah! Mercantilism! Mercantilism! Sorry, I'll pause. Our current level of mercantilism gives the following benefits. Provincial Trade Power Modifier. Ah! So, whatever percent you're on, you get twice that in Provincial Trade Power Modifiers, which is actually quite a substantial amount. So if I'd have taken the event to, to say, lose 5 mercantilism, then I would have lost 10%. Is that right? I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, I would have lost 10% Provincial Trade Power Modifier. Meaning I'd lose even more money, which isn't, isn't great. Now the Crimea is actually doing quite well as a trade route. I'm quite happy with that. In the seems in the Constantinople area I actually have some trade power. Oh, access to the Black Sea, I remember that event. Herald from Poland, they tell us of the Peasants' War. Not too bothered about that. Sorry, Poland. Um, now the Alexandria trade node. I'm not doing a great deal there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to recall... Like so. Although, no, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Because the Constantinople trade route only sends monies to the Ragusa trade node. So I really want to get in with that. The Ragusa trade node. I could actually send... But it's not... God, it's just not worth it, is it? What about the Tunis? Is that anywhere? Where is where is the Tunis? Okay, Tunis transfer trade power. Why not? Oh, I'm actually transferring 0 0.71, which is oh no, hmm. Oh no, everyone is transferring that much. I am transferring quite a substantial amount less. Anyway, it doesn't it doesn't really matter too much about that. What's okay? Oh, this is uh, carrying on from the event from before. I thought it was the same again, but it's not. The Guelph Ghibellini Fund. Feud, sorry, feud. The division between the Pope and the Emperor had started in the late 11th century and technically ended in 1122, but the division between Guelphs and Ghibellines persisted in Italy for centuries afterwards, I'll leave it running, being a constant factor in dividing the city-states internally and keeping Italy weak. The Guelphs were the supporters of the Pope, while the Ghibellini supported the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Empire, again, I assume. In the 15th century, the Guelphs had switched allegiance to the French instead as they started to take an interest in Italy. Oh no, this is exactly the same, isn't it? So we'll side, we'll, we'll get France to like us again. Uh, so, now I think, and not, I think we should be able to offer them, ah, offer them an alliance. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, they accepted. Great. Uh, that really is quite a boost to our military power. Now no one will attack us, hopefully. We hope. I really hope. Now Naples seems to have a war going on with the Papal State. And what is this war? Oh, this is the war which I refuse to join, isn't it? Oh, god damn. So, our National Bank of 13... 
Oh no, our loan. We can't repay it. Oh no, we can repay it. Okay, so we'll, we'll repay. But we cannot repay this one. So, we're going to have to extend that. Hopefully giving us enough time to get some sort of money together to repay that one. What is it repaying? Interest 3.5%, so... I don't know, what's that about... It should be only about 14, shouldn't it? Or 13 and a half, not even a, um, not even a large amount. I might raise war taxes, yet. I just, I really need to boost my economy, I'm not quite sure how to go about getting it. I'm going to reduce war, ex war exhaustion, because that gives... What does that, what does that even give? Well, it just gives bonuses, and I mean, monarch points, I, I think, are worth spending on things like this. So we're not going to upgrade our stability anytime soon, because our Republican tradition is increasing the cost by a quarter, which, I mean, it's just not worth it at the moment, really. We, I wish we could call France into this war, I really do. I tell you what I wish, actually, that Mantua and Tuscany would get off their arses and come help me. Now, on that, well, it's not really any sort of note, is it? But this time, I'm going to end the episode. Um, so thanks for watching, and do do come back, do like, subscribe, whatever, leave a comment. Um, I'm open to feedback. Thank you very much.